Let me show you some useful things that you can 3D print. If you have ever drilled into a wall and ended up covered in dust, this little 3D print is about to save your day. Meet this mighty drill guide and dust catcher, a clever 3-in-1 tool that helps you drill perfectly straight holes and collects the dust in one shot. You can print it using PETG or PLA. Here is how it works. Snap the two printed pieces together and place the back cover. Use the built-in guide holes to keep your drill aligned. By the way, you can change the hole sizes by rotating the front part of the guider, and as you drill, it captures the dust and debris that comes out from your surface on. After the drill job, you can remove the back cover with a twist to dump the debris, whether you are installing shelves or mounting your next 3D printed project. This thing keeps everything clean, accurate and hassle-free. By the way, I'll use these holes for a fully 3D printable project called Multiboards. I believe you've seen this project at least once in 3D printing community. It's a great 3D printable organization system built by makers for makers. You can just 3D print customized tiles for your wall, merge them and fix using special 3D printable add-ons. Speaking of add-ons, the important part of this organization system, you can mount your any tool to multiboard by printing and snapping special add-on to your multiboard. 3D printing community designed thousands of mounts for various items. I also chose some of them for my tools and printed. Now, time to snap and populate my multiboard. Let's see how it will come out. I loved how cute it came out. I think I have to do a bigger organization project using multiboards. What do you think? Let me know in comments below. Threaded inserts with Norlot exterior. They make your simple 3D prints look like professionally manufactured product. Not only that, but they add a lot of strength to your 3D prints, where you mount some bolts. However, if you don't have enough practice, you can mess up your 3D print with them while inserting using some heating device like soldering iron. This minimalist heat insert press solves this, this kind of problem using some belt and springs only. It's very minimal, which hides everything using vertical stand. Perfect tool for your workbench. You just need a couple of hours to print and some other spare parts listed by designer, which can't be printed. Great! Till we finish the lunch prints, I have something important to tell you about our sponsor. Ever watched a video on math or science, thought you understood it, and then totally froze when you tried solving a real problem? That's where Brilliant.org comes in. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, science and all computer-related stuff, because instead of passively watching, you actively solve problems. It's all about hands-on interactive learning that builds real understanding. Whether you are diving into algebra, exploring neural networks, or logic and probability, Brilliant breaks it all down into bite-sized guided lessons that are actually fun. Interestingly, for those courses, you don't need a fancy background in STEM, just curiosity. Personally, I really liked their course about neural networks because I want to apply artificial intelligence to my future projects. I believe you can see effect of this Brilliant course in my future projects. It's such a refreshing change from watching videos or reading through textbooks, especially when you use Brilliant's mobile app when you on the go instead of scrolling time-consuming videos. Alright, Brilliant was generous to provide 30 days free trial and 20% off for the annual premium subscription. Just use our link in the video description to get it. Ok, back to the video. The designer declared that the press is made for famous TS-100 soldering iron, but I wanted to mount a specific soldering iron and leave it with the press for the rest. TS-100 is way more expensive for my situation, that's why I've got this nice T12 soldering iron along with insertion kit for much cheaper price. And this soldering iron supports fast heating, works with Type-C and has an OLED display. I'll leave a purchase link below the video. As TS-100 shape is different, the mount did not fit to my soldering iron, but the designer was generous to provide step files for soldering iron mount, so we remix the model and make a custom mount for T12 soldering iron. As the design is quite popular, there are some remixes to make the press more functional, that's why I have printed this drawer extension remix as well. Now we can start assembling the press.
Last part is to mount M5 knob for soldering iron mount. And I chose this knurled knob for better design. I allowed how minimal and beautiful these heat insert presses. I am happy that I chose this color schema. Ok, let's test the press now. Wow, look at these accurately mounted threaded inserts. They are adding extra professional look to my 3D printed parts while making them more functional. I don't know if you feel my pain, but when you're doing some projects that has satisfying magnetic attachable parts and when it comes to mounting the magnets with the correct orientation, this part is so confusing. I messed up orientation several times, so I felt that I need proper tool for determining the correct sides of magnets easily and faster. I found this simple magnet setter pen that works with any size of magnets. I printed it two times with blue and red colors, for south and north sides respectively. By the way, at first I tried building this magnet insertion tool by EMGI. It works great as expected and has automatic magnets loading feature, but you can use that for only one magnet size at a time. So if you work with several size of magnets, you have to build several insertion tools for each size and orientation. Instead, I preferred this pen style design for more flexibility. Building is simple, you just need some pen springs and assemble exactly like I did in this video. Now, time to test. I've printed some dummy magnet slots, so we can insert different magnets and see if it works. Let's see if they attach perfectly. Great, it works, I love it. Hope you'll do so. Struggling to grip a pen or pencil? The drag. Assistive writing device is a game-changing solution, especially for people with arthritis, limited mobility that can cause pain or discomfort when writing or drawing. Best of all, it's open source and free to download. Big thanks to PrintLab for that. So you can print it yourself or modify it to suit your needs. Assembly is pretty simple, you just need 3M3 bolts and if you want you can add threaded inserts. I have added because I have minimalist threaded insert press. Then just tighten your bolts, insert your lovely pen and tighten the last bolt. Now, instead of holding the pen, you simply rest your hand on drag and gently glide it across the page like a computer mouse. Its symmetrical design creates comfort for both left and right handed users. People are so creative when they think about rim boxes, those you can give to your loved ones. There are a lot of rim box designs so far, but I can see most of them are in box shape only. As I'm an engineer, I want my rim box to be unique and must be enriched with our engineered mechanisms. Fortunately, Sander Smith has already designed one. Meet this lotus shaped rim box with our engineered mechanisms. This is a 100% 3D printable object that does not require even a glue. After some printing with creative color combo, I've got this much parts to assemble. This object turned out really great, but you need to lubricate it some parts for smooth motion. I would advise you to practice opening and closing of ring box for you not to fail at your delicate time as it has unusual motion. Now just mount your ring box that is intended for your wife and your box is ready to go. Okay, that was a romantic break for you. Unlike regular ring boxes, it's not for a single use. She can use this box as a container for her belongings later with this special container add-on. I believe this is a perfect gift by an engineer for his wife. 
When you start a new book, or your book is really big, usually it doesn't stay open if you wanna read it hands-free. Wow, Squeen found a solution even for this problem as well. Look at this foldable book or tablet stand that is fully 3D printed. This model takes about 4 hours to print and it's printing place design, with the exception of two small articulating arms, which are designed with a bit of flex in them, so that they can be snapped in post-print. The model is designed to fold flat so that it can be easily transported in a bag or slid into a space on a shelf. When opened up, it then offers a few different adjustable angles that can hold a book or tablet at. The arms then have some intentional slotting built into the pivot joints so they can be optionally used to loosely lock into place at various positions to help the hold pages of a book. In addition to the standard model, there are also versions that include three different sized plugs just above the center area. This allows you to conveniently customize your stand with text in the slicer. Useful and very portable design. When 3D printers came out at first, we thought, now we can 3D print anything needed for us, but the limitation of printers at that time denied this opinion for a long time so far. However, nowadays people are using 3D printers almost for everything. So why not try making your everyday items using your 3D printer? The designer Cloudberry tried designing his own 3D printable shoes and calls them Whaleberry. This conceptual model emphasizes fashion, featuring a generatively designed sole and streamlined upper inspired by marine life. Its eye-catching design ensures you stand out as a walking focal point, making it excellent conversation starter to showcase the possibilities of 3D printing to your friends. This is what Cloudberry says about his shoes. But this model is not easy to print as it uses TPU elastic filament, and model itself is so big to print. I could try printing one by one, but I wanted to print all at once using KD Plus 4 as this printer does TPU job reliably well. Using his size to scale table, I've scaled the model according to my foot size. By the way, I added my personal signature to this part, and I wonder how it will come out. Started slicing the model, model slicing also took considerably a lot of time. With a lot of fury inside me, I've hit print button. Print started, and it could finish the print job not in one day, not two, not three, and finally, fourth day, I've seen the successful finish, alhamdulillah. Now, after removing all these beautiful supports, we lace up the shoes. My signature came out perfect on the surface. I wonder if I deserve it. Whatever, I can't wait to see them on my feet. Wow, see how futuristic they look on my foot. Now, officially, I'm wearing fully 3D printed shoes in 2025, which are manufactured with my own 3D printer in a little workshop. Moments that worth to snap. Okay, I've done a lot of actions and tests using these shoes. Now, let me tell the test results. While simple walking, I felt like I'm walking on a surface that's made from cotton. It feels so soft on its bottom. While jumping also, I felt nothing hard which was perfect for me. I was curious how car driving feels with these beast shoes. Okay, let's test driving car with these shoes. Well, nothing new. I can drive car normally as I did with my other shoes. But everything is turned to bed when I started to walk on rugged terrain and running. Until running test, I walked a lot with these shoes. My feet were aching already. And I started running. Upper side of these shoes from inner space felt very hard for my feet. So it started touching hard and hard as I take steps while running. But it does not mean these shoes are heavy, because you can see how they weigh almost the same as my sneakers. By the way, durability of whale berries is quite good. I could broke only this part during the tests. Oh, while we are testing them, it started to rain. Because upper side of these shoes were open for better air inlet, my feet dampened a bit in a short time. Well, well. Using this weather condition, we can make slippery test of shoes. Let's try with my original sneakers first. They ask you how you are, you just have to say 
say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, time to my 3D printed one. Well, after all fun and slightly scientific tests, I can say we are so close to fully functional 3D printed shoes. I believe we can soon, maybe in this year, we will be wearing better 3D printed shoes. Hope you like this one. Please tell me your opinions about using 3D printers for your own shoes in comments below. I'm thinking to make a dedicated video about 3D printed shoes. Your opinions will be helpful for me. Do you often forget to water your plants? Don't worry, you're not alone. That's exactly why I printed this 3D printable plant watering globe. This is one piece simple printable globe that has enough capacity to water your flowers for some time without your help. You just need to stick it into the soil near your plant, pour some water inside the globe and let the gravity do the rest. Your flowers will thank your 3D printer as they stay hydrated, even if your memory doesn't. This model holds about 200 milliliters of water for about 24 hours. But if your flowers need more water, no problem, just scale up the design and print again to fit their needs. Come on, just print as many as you can, like me, so you can stick it to your every flower one by one. That's the last 3D model for this video. I tried to gather as many useful things as I can. I hope you found useful at least one of them. Please do share your prints to my Instagram page. I'll see you in the next videos, inshallah.